Hello. Hey, what's up, Stardos? Hi. Sorry, just give me one second. Let me turn this music off. Uh, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm good. Um, so, uh, I guess we can just kind of get right into it. Sure. Um, I don't really know how to start any <laughs> interview. I, it's always awkward for me every single time. Cool. So I know how that um, goes. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know how that goes. Yeah. Don't worry. Okay. About it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. Um, all right. Let me just make sure the audio levels are good and everything. Do you mind uh, speaking a little bit for me? Uh, hello. How are you doing? Great. Great. Okay. How was your day? Uh, you know, kind of got delayed doing some stuff I didn't expect to have to do just like errands and stuff, but I'm feeling better today. I getting a little bit over a little small illness. So yeah, it's doing a little bit better. Nothing major. Just had a little uh, under the yeah. weather last couple of days. That's good. That's good. So I figured we can, um, probably just get right into it since Alex, the, the beef with Alex sign is the main thing on the, sure. on, on the table basically. So, um, your relationship with Stein involved more than him appearing at previous events. Um, and, and your plans for him to come to Ralph mania, but I'm not hundred percent sure on how exactly you both got talking in the first place. Um, could you maybe, uh, explain how that happened? Uh, yes, I can. Also, I'm just going to try to put you down here. Okay. I thought I'll mess up your shot, but I'm just going to put you down the corner. Um, so I hope not. So, um, I actually met Alex Stein. He messaged me once or twice on Twitter. Um, I think once or twice he had messaged me. I didn't see it, actually. Uh, and then I was talking to a guy in DMs named Vito Giswaldi, uh, who was co-host mm -hmm. on The Biggest Problem in the Universe with my friend Dick Masterson and has been mm -hmm. around for a while. He's been on the kill stream uh, a lot. And he said, I have a good friend, and his name is Alex Stein. I think, I think you'll like him. Mm -hmm. He said, I think you'll like Alex. He's a big fan of yours. He knows all about the kill stream, which he did when he came on. But anyway, um, you know, I think you, I think he'd be a good guest on your show. I think you'll like him. Uh, I messaged him in, I don't know, November or December. And I said, hey, let's get you on the show. That'd be great. And then I forgot to, to hit him back up. And he had a, <laughs> he had a viral video. Uh, mm -hmm. It was like his first one. It was, he had bigger ones after that. Um, yeah. But then I remembered... <laughs> Then I remember, and I was like, hey, uh, you know, I saw your video, and uh, I know I didn't follow up. I know I didn't follow up last time, but I yeah. did ask you. You know, I did ask you before you blew up. So you know the intent was there, even though I didn't fully follow through. You know, I don't have a secretary yeah. or anything like that. So he laughed about that, and we ended up having him on the show uh, in January of this year, 2022. Mm -hmm. um, and then what made you decide to invite him to Ralph Um, I just thought he would be a natural fit for that project. Uh, yeah. which he thought as well, uh, which was his idea to to wrestle a female at Ralphomania. He pitched mm -hmm. that to me. For those who don't know, that's a very, uh, very well-known uh, wrestling feud kind of that happened back in the, in the 1980s in my hometown of Memphis, Tennessee. There was a famous comedian named Andy Kaufman, uh, and he used to be on a show called Taxi, which was the number one comedy in the country back in the late 70s. He was on several other shows, and he was famous basically – for going out. Now at the time, uh, he didn't acknowledge this at the time, of course. Um, but he would go out basically um, and um, do anti-comedy almost, and and do stuff mm -hmm. where um, he wouldn't acknowledge. Like he, he went and wrestled women. Um, you know what I mean? Like and, and did all <laughs> he did a whole angle where he went down to Memphis uh, mm -hmm. and would wrestle women out of the audience um, just because he thought that was funny. Um, mm -hmm. And he got in a feud with the with the local big shot there, uh, Jerry Lawler. Um, and it was kind of a whole big thing. And so, um, Stein kind of fancies himself, uh, an Andy Kaufman, which one of his associates mm -hmm. said flat out the other day uh, mm -hmm. on Twitter. So I already knew that. I already knew that he fancied himself sort of an Andy Kaufman, uh, type character. Um, mm -hmm. so I asked him and he, and he was down. Not only was he down, he was very, very down. Like yeah. I said. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so then it seemed, uh, I guess after that, it seemed that you suspected for a while that he was going to back out of Ralph Um, was there something well, that tipped you off or, I, you know, I didn't know for sure, but mm -hmm. it was just, there was some heat with him in baked Alaska, which I stayed out mm -hmm. of, although I did have him on my show, which didn't, <laughs> well, just let me tell the story. He had some heat with baked Alaska, baked Alaska had put out this text, uh, which Alex said isn't genuine. Um, at the time, I didn't think it is. I still don't, really. I'm not even going to, you know, change my opinion. Um, mm -hmm. But he did react to it as if, you know, he was really mad uh, about what Baked had said. And then he came on my show 
Um, I guess he wasn't even fully mad at that point, but he came on my show and it was Baked Alaska. Uh, it was Laura Loomer. It was uh, Beardson was there. Um, mm-hmm. Who else? Ali Alexander was there. And I think somebody else. And they had a, you know, Royal Rumble, so to speak, to stick with the wrestling uh, terms here. And just, you know, had a back and forth. And Stein got confronted by Beardson uh, that he had called yay crazy on Tim Pool. And Ali Alexander, you know, um, very, um, I guess you could say plugged in with Team Yay uh, right up the top. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so he said, well, your Yay interview's canceled. Like, he canceled it on the kill stream. Uh, and Alex also kind of got dogged out by Laura Loomer, who's an absolute shark, by the way. I don't know what mm-hmm. he was thinking. He, he asked to call in. And I was like, hey, call in. And he got dogged. I mean, it wasn't my fault. Um, but mm-hmm. after that, I kind of suspected. I messaged him and told him. I was like, hey, do you want to back out? He said no. He said no. He said no, I'll just go and be a heel to the Groypers, talk some shit, which honestly would have been entertaining as fuck. Like, I don't... But uh, yeah. he's like, no, I'll go ahead and go. I'll just talk some. Sh- I'll just talk shit to the Groypers, et cetera. But I gave him another out, and I'd done that at least three other times because we'd had some problems booking a female. We actually did book somebody, and then she backed out because of the controversy just around us and me and the show and all that stuff, which, you know, whatever. Uh, that's her right. I don't begrudge her. I'm not trying to throw her under the bus. I'm not going to name her for that reason. Um, but, you know, it's kind of a logistical thing. And, you know, each time, you know, while I'm working on this the whole time, I'm going to Stein and I'm, I'm thinking, hey, man, you know, I'm giving him a chance to back out, basically, because this is a whole separate, you know, we have actual wrestlers on the card that have been, you know, scouted and like we have booked like the Stein thing is he doesn't even know how to take a bump like he, he didn't do any training for professional wrestling. So the first thing they ask is how much training does this guy have? And, he, and you say zero and he's not going to set aside a time to do any. Uh, which, you know, he's making money. He's killing, you know, he's about to take a job at the blaze. Uh, by most people's standard, he's doing pretty well. So, I mean, I understand, but it's like, it makes it harder to book a match like that because mm-hmm. the other performer doesn't want to go in there and get hurt. Um, and the main way you get hurt in wrestling is by re- wrestling a motherfucker who doesn't know how to, how to work. Uh, and so <laughs> at all, <laughs> like you can't take a ball for anything. So, you know, it was kind of problematic to you say, uh, old Gamergate feminist word there, but uh, I kept giving him chances, and that was another mm-hmm. time that I that I said, hey, you sure, man? It's going to be... <laughs> yeah. They hate you yeah. now. Like, it's getting pretty heated. And he went in on Bake the next day and called him a fed. Like, he took it even further than mm-hmm. it had been taken. Like, he just went nuclear uh, with it the next day, which, you know. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, so, uh, it, it seemed like there was a lot of drama over whether or not Ali went to Alex's show on his own or because he was directed yeah. to do so. Um, I'm guessing you're glad to have him, had him come on and clear the air last night. I was. I thought he did a great job, and I want to say that in front of everybody. I am a little hard on poor mm-hmm. Ali Jamal sometimes. Uh, I was a little miffed that he cut you off at one point when you were about to readdress the fact that I don't take his super chat money, which he mentioned on Twitter after the show as well. I don't know if you uh-huh. pull it up. I don't yeah, take I, his, I saw that. I think, okay. yeah, I just yeah. want to clear up. I don't, yeah. I don't take his super, yeah. I don't take his super chat. He does super, he has super chatted to me a couple times. Uh, mm-hmm. But no, I don't, I don't have some kind of mob boss. That would be kind of cool if I did, but, or disturbing depending on your point mm-hmm. of view. But no, I don't, I don't, mm-hmm. I don't have that relationship with him. I've not told him anywhere to go, except once I tried to get him to go to San Antonio there was a protest on December 12th that I'd read an article about that I'd heard might get, um, you know, <laughs> like heated or whatever. They were writing like it was going to get heated. And I was like, hey, this might be a good one to go to. Why don't you go out? But it was like on a Tuesday or something, I think. It was kind of hard for him to do. Um, but I don't tell Ali Jamal what to do. Ali Jamal has a whole schedule. He's plugged in with all the right-wing activists there in Dallas. I sent you a link, and you can pull it up on screen sometime. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it's just Ali Jamal, uh, and you just search Alex Stein on his channel. There's numerous videos of him with Alex Stein. I'll find the picture while I'm on air. Uh, but he also first met Alex Stein April 2nd, 2022 at the Killstream Kingpin Invitational, which was my event. And Alex has known him since then. He took time out of his set to just completely embarrass him uh, because his set sucked so bad. So he was looking for a scapegoat. But I won't, I won't, get to, I won't go there just yeah. yet. But, uh, but uh, he's known him for a long time. He's been at many of his events. Uh, and the idea that he would be surprised to see Ali Jamal there and think that I had something to do with it. No, I, not only did I not do that. If I had, I would just say that. What the fuck? Like he hadn't messaged me about it at all. Like, there was no, like, hey, Ralph, what's going on? There was nothing until I messaged him. And I was like, hey, you know, fuck, I didn't, What? I, let me make sure I get it right, what I said to him. But basically, I was just like, 
Um, I didn't send him, right? Hold on, let me see yeah. if I can find it. Um, but he's known Ali Jamal for a while. Ali Jamal goes all over Dallas without any encouragement from me or anybody. Also, oh, wait, here it goes. Yeah, he blocked me, so. Uh, okay. Um, let's see. Let me make sure I read it. Uh, I said I didn't send – I did not send that retard to your show, by the way. That was pretty mean to Ali Jamal. I was pretty mad at Ali Jamal at the time because mm-hmm. he – you know, I didn't tell him to do that. He pissed me off. If you go back and watch the kill stream, which I sent you the link to, mm-hmm. I was mad mm-hmm. at him because I didn't want him to go. Anyway, and didn't find out until after the fact, and people were just like, oh, here's this footage. Anyway, uh, I joked yeah. about him being my protege, and he goes around telling people that like it's for real, which maybe I shouldn't have done, but, you know, it was funny on the show. Um, Ali seemed to have – taking it to heart i felt bad a little bad last night when i was watching him say that mm-hmm. i shouldn't have let him i shouldn't have let him believe that because i do know he has you know he's one of those guys who who will you know he's got that heart of gold kind of you know he'll kind of believe what you what you let him believe yeah. i shouldn't yeah. have, okay i shouldn't have done that okay that's true um but you know i thought it was kind of harmless fun and you know he you know i thought he was having fun but you know it's not fun for him to go and do all this stuff <laughs> And then throw my name around. So I was kind of uh, upset at him already at that point. So I don't want yeah, him to hear this. Yeah. I think I'm being mean to him now. But um, yeah, so, I guess yeah. the only thing I would say is that, you know, when he, he when Ali Jamal was talking to you about how he got in trouble for recording the show, you immediately volunteered. Well, I didn't tell you to do that, which kind of in a way makes it look a, like a little sus. Right. But um, well, that's that's what I would say. Yeah. Well, Why do you say that? Because to me, my natural inclination is they're going to think I sent him or somebody's going to immediately say that I sent him. Like, it doesn't even have to be Stein saying it because I have an army of people who follow me mm-hmm. around and like, yeah. you know, twist it and start put I've had people, you know, I've had that happen uh, where yeah. my words get twisted around or something happens and I didn't say anything or, or they try to portray it that way. Um, so I do have a habit of. Yeah. You know, doing that. Okay. But if I wanted to do that with Stein, I was already in contact with him about Ralph Mania and had talked with him about yeah. Ralph Mania on, I don't know, six to ten occasions. Uh, I could have mm. ran it. You know, if you wanted to do that, I would have done it within the Ralph Mania construct because Ali Jamal is going to be at Ralph Mania. I would have yeah. said, hey, we're having problems booking a female, which we were. And. <laughs> Uh, for his match anyway. Uh, and I would say, hey, let's work a little drama with you and Ali Jamal. Like, I would have pitched it to him. Uh, mm-hmm. So it doesn't even make any sense. Why would I jeopardize, uh, you know, 400,000 follower account, you know, star that comes on my show for some fucking, you know, underhanded shit when I already have him involved with the event, right? Yeah. Like, it doesn't even make yeah. sense. Uh, so anyway, yeah. that's that's my yeah. position on that. So, um, uh, so I asked this of Ali Jamal last night. Um, a lot of people think that stand-up routines are like the last place where freedom of speech is, is really preserved. Um, and that being said, I know people were obsessed, uh, upset with Stein for um, the jokes that he made about Groypers and about Baked Alaska. Um, do you believe that he's entitled to make jokes about anything or are there limits? Um, uh, you know, if it's funny, it's funny. That's what they always say. Uh, mm-hmm. And so... The limit is, can you get some motherfuckers? Excuse me, I, I can say that. I was about to censor yeah. myself. You motherfuckers. Can, no, you can say whatever. Yes, you okay. Want. I was yeah. just, I was just making sure. I had my good Twitch boy. Either, I had so. my good boy yeah. hat on. Yeah, I was, yeah. <laughs> I was yeah. about to really go PG thirteen. Yeah. Uh, but if you can get uh, a crowd to laugh at it, uh, you know, you've got it. You've got it made. You know, I got, I got a crowd here. Yeah. You got a crowd there. Um, I mean, I. I don't think that's why. You know, he was cracking on the Groypers, but he had just called Baked Alaska a Fed. It's not like it was just. You know, mm-hmm. some lighthearted jab or something like that. It was kind of, um, it was kind of meant to to diminish, kind of meant to you know call into question, call him suspect, call him homosexual. Mm-hmm. Actually, is, is what he called him. Now, I mean, should you like get riled up and just absolutely crazed about it? No, not necessarily. But I could see some people saying "fuck Alex Stein" after that because he'd already mm-hmm. said a bunch of shit about baked. Uh, you know, he'd already, at that time, me and him hadn't got into it, but, uh, he kind of went really nuclear on that and, you know, yeah, Mm -hmm. I could see, I could see people taking offense, but I mean, if you're asking me, can he make the joke? Yeah. I don't have a problem with him saying that. Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. but also, you know, there's ramifications, right? If I start making a bunch of jokes that offend my audience or offend uh, people who used to be my audience, uh, which I have, (laughs) (laughs) right. Um, so I don't know. It's, it's just one of those things. Yeah. Um, also, I wanted to ask why you keep calling him Jewish activist. Because uh, that, that's just funny to say. Okay. Also, All he's right. lied about his heritage as well. Uh, and he came on my show in January 2019 and told me he wasn't really Jewish. That that was just, uh, you know, 
like a put on. And well, he is. Uh, and he said two or three other versions about, uh, you know, his personal history uh, as far as being Jewish goes. Uh, and when you tell that many different stories about your life and you have this much fakery out there with your stunts mm -hmm. and. And when you fucked with me, uh, then we're going to take a look. Uh, now, it's true that I wasn't really taking a look. I wasn't really going in before that because uh, I didn't have a reason to. The guy was cool with me. Uh, I was cool with him. I would say, even, you know, friendly as far as, you know, he's coming to my show and he's been to my show before. Uh, I had no reason. I had defended him. Uh, even when people in my audience were, like, pissed and mad and people called in, I'm like, nope, you know, I'm not getting in that. I'm still cool with Alex Stein. Uh, and that's people in my own audience here on Cozy who don't, appreciate Alex Stein saying those things about Bates, right? Um, if, mm -hmm. I, if I wanted to just cut ties with him for that reason, uh, I would have done so. Uh, and, I've, I, you know, the whole idea that uh, I did it because I heard him say that, that it plays well uh, with my audience, well, I would have already done it. Uh, I mean, it's true that my audience doesn't like him. Uh, but, uh, you know, he did that to himself, right? Like, I didn't, mm -hmm. there wasn't anything mm -hmm. I did. I tried to, I wanted them to keep liking him. I was trying to sell tickets with his fucking name on the card, right? Um, you know, it wasn't my idea. Now, once it went over so far to hatred, it's like, well, fine, just make it, you know, okay, I guess you're going to be the most hated. You know, I was fine with that too, but that's kind of a different, that's kind of a different thought. You know, when I had it in mind, I thought Alex Stein was going to come and have fun and we we're all going to laugh and he'll do something, you know, silly, funny with the, with the female wrestler and, you know, we'll all go home, right? That'll be the cornball fun main event. You know, we'll have some you know, more serious stuff before that serious, you know, still pro wrestling. Right. Um, yeah. but that's not, you know, he, he changed yeah. that by his own actions. Right. Like I didn't yeah. do anything. Anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, well, I, I guess I, I would say, um, like you and Laura Loomer on, are, are on good terms, right? Yes. Okay. All right. But if you fell out with her, you, I think you would probably call her a Jewish activist too, or, um, you know, I mean, probably, uh, if yeah. I fall out with anybody, I'll use whatever, uh, is available. Uh, okay. I don't, I don't think That's that, uh, I don't think that there are really, uh, many rules other than don't be illegal, uh, when it comes to, um, internet battle, to be quite frank. Uh, I've, I've yeah. been around the block a time or two, uh, yeah. and I've seen it all and had it all done to me. And so, um, uh, mm -hmm. when you fuck with me, when you stab me in the back, uh, it's all on the table. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Fair enough. But I don't have any reason. By the way, I, I love Laura Loomer. Uh, I don't yeah. ever foresee, <laughs> yeah. foresee that yeah. happening. Uh, and I've had other, you know, if, if it's, I know he's trying to make it a Jewish thing, and I definitely have criticized uh, Zionists on my show mm -hmm. and continue to do so. Um, but uh, I, I would I would think you would find that I'm pretty moderate uh, on that issue compared to some of my compatriots. If you listen to to all the all the content and I've you know, I don't hate uh, Jews at all and have many mm -hmm. Jewish associates that come on the show. Mm -hmm. They don't always get a good yeah. reception. <laughs> yeah. no, no, I know. I, I know our, our uh, first but, interaction was yeah. like, uh, you know, I, I understand the dynamic. Um, so uh, like even our first interaction, like every time I, I think I go over to your chat, it's there's a lot of like you know, there's a lot of, sure. yeah, <laughs> it's just what it is. Um, so, uh, speaking on that point, um, I know, uh, I know you're at the center of a lot of trolling and controversy, um, and that it certainly involved people talking about your family, um, and taking shots at your family at points. Do you personally believe that family should be off limits? Um, I, it, I, I think, um, I think children should be off limits, um, I don't, I don't really think like somebody like Nick Ricada's wife, uh, or somebody like that, especially people who come on air. Um, I, I would, it would be a nice world if they were off limits. Uh, but that's not, uh, that's not the game as it's played really. Uh, and so I don't, I don't play it that way. And I don't know. I've taken as much heat. <laughs> like, you know, I could come out here and say, Oh wow. And cite all the things they've done. Uh, to my family or said about my family and significant others, and it would literally pale in comparison to almost anybody that you know online, and that's not a joke. Um, but, you know, I'm just gonna I'm just going to be honest with you. Uh, no, I don't think uh, every single, you know, member of a family or piece of history concerning your family um, should, should necessarily uh, be off limits. But, you know, tell the truth, <laughs> uh, right? Uh, don't, don't misrepresent. Um, you know, that's, that's my thing with it. Um, but yeah, I think, you know, kids, um, I don't, I don't think that that's, 
that's very tasteful. Um, I may have make a, made a joke about a kid or something like that once or twice, but that's not something that yeah. I. Um, it looks like um, so. Just people and people who are are viewing this are saying that you may have made fun of Sargon's kids. At yeah, some so point. I'll tell you what happened on that. I mean, this is like ancient mm -hmm. internet history. It's 2018. You know, we were still on mm -hmm. YouTube back then. Killstream, mm -hmm. Cozy TV, by the way. Um, but um, so Sargon, months and months, we were trying to get him on the show. We did the St. Jude. Uh, fundraiser called the Heel Stream, and we raised twenty seven thousand dollars for St. Jude uh, in about a six and a half hour period. And they wrote a story for it about the uh, in the Wall Street Journal on the front page, actually. Um, mm -hmm. I guess um, about a month later, a little bit over. And once they put that story out, they deleted uh, all my YouTube channels. <laughs> and oh, wow. uh, St. Jude refunded the twenty seven thousand dollars and. PewDiePie mm -hmm. made a video about it and all this stuff. It was like a big thing back then and mm -hmm. back in ancient history uh, days. And so that happened. Sargon refused to come on the heel stream. We finally got him on that October um, and he talked some bullshit with Medicare and just looked like an idiot. And mm -hmm. so it was kind of like the end of the arc. Once I got banned from YouTube, I hadn't taken any shots at his um, – whatever i guess uh miscarried daughter or son whatever whatever it was and mm -hmm. child i don't know if you know i don't know if that's been stated mm -hmm. uh i hadn't said anything but there had been a couple of uh, videos i know there was um a heartworm video that was that we had played that was pretty tough um i don't know if that was before or after that there were some like mm -hmm. super chats but i hadn't personally said anything um mm -hmm. you know maybe i've been like oh you know and like oh man you know <laughs> You know, trying to play it up. When I heard something like that, right? Like, oh, come on, you know, uh, or give a react or something like that. But I didn't personally say anything. Uh, and then he came on my show, and Medicare was there that night too, and so was Keemstar. And we were talking about me getting banned. It was shortly thereafter we went from D Live to Stream Me at this time, which is widely regarded as like one of the golden eras of all this, the Stream Me era, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. which I was the king of Stream Me for the record. Mm -hmm. For all you who mm -hmm. love Stream Me, that was Ethan Ralph's house. Do you know that? I was the one who ran Stream Me, literally, pretty much. So when you when you talk about what you love, think about who ran that shit. Anyway, um, so we were on Stream Me, me, Sargon, Medicare, and that's the truth, by the way, Medicare. And Keemstar, and um, so we were there, and we were talking about that, and he goes, I don't care. I don't care that your channel got banned. And I said, well, I don't care that your kid died while he was on air. And then mm -hmm. Keemstar goes, oh, Rob, oh, and he, like, hung up. <laughs> he, like, hung yeah. up and left the call. Yeah. Um, but to me, it was, it was like a game of chicken, basically. You know what I mean? Like, it was a guy who's saying he doesn't care that my YouTube channel just got deleted. Like, he's talking shit to my face. We were even trying to be somewhat... Uh, diplomatic and it's like well okay you don't care about that I don't give a fuck about anything in your life fucker like um, yeah. you know and maybe that's a dark place to take it I, I'm, it is really um, but this is a dark place uh, it's a pretty yeah. dark place to work in every fucking day yeah. and so yeah. and these are dark people who work here some some yeah. lighter than others some being, yeah. us being metaphoric but um, yes you know what I mean uh, yeah, I know, so I know what you mean. yeah um, so then the uh, only other thing is uh, people in chat are bringing up um, somebody named Ranbot and his yes. kids or something like that. Yeah, so uh, what happened there? I, I could tell that story. I could tell that okay. story. So Ranbot got banned from DLive like, I don't know, 10, 20 times uh, mm -hmm. and kept getting banned. And it was like a gimmick, basically. And he came on one night and he just kept re he read out literally the whole slurs list. I had a lot of pull at DLive as well uh, not quite as much as stream.me like i said i was pretty mm -hmm. much running that joint literally but mm -hmm. not not d live but i did have a little bit of pull with the staff and so i said man can you please like man i'll make sure he'll be good just let him back on he you know he hates his job he wants to you know give the streaming thing a little more effort but he needs a platform can you please just as a favor to me he's on our show all the time because he couldn't come on our shows either while he was banned on d live they had a twitch rule you know what I mean? Like, he couldn't come on at all. So, it was helping me, too. But, anyway, I got him reinstated to D-Live after he'd been banned 20 times at least. I got him reinstated. Mm -hmm. I had an interview with Jim Goad and Rambot, drunker than a bucket of shit, as he always was. Which sounds funny coming from me if you see some of my, you know, crazy mm -hmm. clips. But, literally, yes. <laughs> literally, yes. Literally, he doesn't have, he, anyway, any type of control whatsoever. So, he... Starts feeling like I, I'm not letting him talk enough or be enough a part of the interview because he loved Jim Goad. Well, he quits the kill stream during the middle of it. During the middle of my fucking show that nobody who would know the fuck his name is if it wasn't for me. And he said that and he knows that. 
quit during my fucking show. The guy he mm -hmm. should be loyal to fucking death to, mm -hmm. he quit during my show, went and started his own show and mm -hmm. was shitting on me, talking shit about me, you know, in every way you can imagine. And so I went on Twitter and I said, first off, fuck you, Rambot, burning hell. And then I said, mm -hmm. I got a clip of you. They tried to say I recorded him, but I didn't. He was on air blubbering mm -hmm. on Bitwave. And somebody recorded it and it was about... It was about he'd had, you know, his wife had a miscarriage, whatever. The mm. point is it was Rambot blubbering on stream. Kind of how he gets drunk on stream and doxes himself every other month. It was just Rambot being a fucking mess uh, and just an absolute pathetic joke. Uh, that was really what it was about. Uh, but no, I didn't record him. I had it off bit shoot. And the clip's still out there somewhere. Mm. I'm not going to go find it. Uh, but I'm pretty sure it's posted on Kiwi Farms, actually. Um, so all these people who act offended about shit like that, they don't give a fuck about shit like that. Have you seen the shit they posted about me, about my mother, about how mm. she went out, lied about that, talked about pissing mm. on her ashes? All these people can drink fucking bleach, and that's the literal truth. Mm -hmm. I don't give a mm -hmm. fuck what they think about morality i don't give a fuck whether they fucking wake up in the morning do you understand like mm -hmm. the idea that they would have any ground to talk about anything in that regard when it comes to me or anybody else is just patently ridiculous yeah what do you think the, is the most outrageous conspiracy theory you've heard about yourself wow fuck um <laughs> <laughs> i'm sure there's damn more. that might be the best question i've ever been asked actually i don't know that's really good <laughs> oh fuck i don't know i might have to Pantsu, can you give me one? I don't even know, man. There's so many, honestly. Well, I'll tell you this one. So I got in a fight with my uh, future father-in-law recently. I shouldn't even bring mm -hmm. it up, but whatever. Um, mm -hmm. That's just a, it's one of the latest ones. I can't help it. I'm not trying to start it back up. Um, mm -hmm. But I had a lot of people think, uh, on Kiwi Farms except, and elsewhere saying that that was a work. Uh, when I'm out, thousands of dollars worth of shit. It's not a work. It's not a work. Yeah. Uh, you know, I... <laughs> I hope to God he does have it somewhere, but he doesn't. And so, you know, uh, I did order more shirts yesterday. That was another thing I was reading. They're like, Ralph's going to not bring the shirts. No, I spent another fucking thousand dollars on shirts. I just had to replace them when you promise everybody shirts. Now, I'm not going to be able to replace the belt but uh, until the next show. Um, but, yes, I replaced the shirts. I don't know. I, I read a lot of goofy shit about me. Pantsy says... Them trying to say, yeah, did I kill the kid's dog? That one was pretty crazy, too. Uh, did, uh, did I allegedly snuck into his house, uh, killed his dog before school, and then was at school to, and literally, like, James Bond styled it and then revealed it to, to him at school? That was a that was a pretty insane one. Um, but, yeah, the idea that, yeah. that me and her... <laughs> that me and her dad... That was pretty insane, yeah. The idea that me and her dad cooked that shit up together. Um, uh, well, to be honest with you, I, I just read on that recently, and... Um, and I honestly didn't believe I couldn't. Well, it was hard to believe that this guy made a Twitter account and is uh, and, and well, you was know talking what? about it. You know what? Yeah. I saw somebody comment something like that, actually, where they're like, you know what? I just didn't even know. <laughs> Like what? He's got a Twitter account and he just happens to be there and like you're going at him. Uh, it is kind of I could yeah I guess when you put it that way. Uh, but he's been yeah, on I could Twitter. I never imagine anybody in my life making a Twitter account, getting involved with everybody, right? And just well, see that's yeah. what people don't know. But he's been on Twitter this whole time. I've seen him like my yeah. tweet and respond every once in a while, but I just didn't make a big deal about. It. I knew who it was, uh, yeah. but most people didn't know. But if you go check his timeline, he's pretty fucking active on Twitter. I think he maybe slowed down a little bit. Um, anyway, I'm not trying to start all that back up. Uh, yeah. But yeah, the idea that me and him cooked it up together with, with as much shit as we were saying back and forth, it's like, damn, I wish. Uh, holy shit, that's giving me a lot of credit. I don't know. You know, it is kind of strange how much credit I get sometimes uh, yeah. from the haters. They what didn't get the fight, by the way, that led up to the. Oh, I'd had lost. some. I'd had some cross words with with her sister. There's plenty of material uh, on the kill uh -huh. stream about it, but I'd had some cross words, and uh, he decided to to destroy my yeah. property basically so not shit you can really do about it when you're not there with it uh so it's yeah. just one of those things yeah. that you you have to yeah have to yeah. Uh, grow from <laughs> yeah yeah um so obviously like i know that you were kind of miffed at me or or you thought that i yeah um you were upset with me one over the comments on the tape which I will say everybody in the space is super hyperbolic. So for so I knew that there were like allegations surrounding. Well, I just tape. found it hard to believe that you didn't. Yeah. No, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. Finish no, your no, thought. it's fine. I knew that there were allegations surrounding a tape, but I didn't know like 
the nitty gritty details of it. And anytime anybody mentioned something about the tape, I kind of assumed it was a meme um, right. just because that's everything that everybody says online is so hyperbolic. It's hard to take anything uh, at face value. Um, but why is everybody so fixated on you eating poop? I don't know. That's very strange. It's one of those fake news stories. Uh, Medicare, originally it was me sniffing mm-hmm. poop, which also didn't happen. Uh, it's because I have a deviated septum from cocaine use, actually, back in the day, oh. not current. Uh, and so my left nostril is always fucked up. And so not to get, you know, too, I don't want to do a John Madden here on the uh, on the highlight reel or whatever, but uh, that's actually me just like sniffing the snot basically <laughs> up my yeah. nose. Cause it's like, it's always stopped up. It's so I can breathe better and get more oxygen during sexual intercourse. Uh, and there's literally no other, um, yeah. explanation there, but it started out from Medicare. It was Medicare who came up with it. Uh, I'll do yeah. credit to him, Jim. You don't have long left son. I I'm actually, you know, Bibble doesn't believe you, but I, I believe you. I think, I think you're about to check out. Uh, so bon voyage, you're going straight to hell, but you already know that. Uh, but he's the one who, he's the one who came up with that. Uh, so and you did not, it, to, just for the audience, you did not eat no, the poop. No, I did okay. not. I did not. They right. wanted you to say that. Did they, what did they wanted to say that? <laughs> I saw that. I was watching. Was that your show? Who was it where they, somebody wanted? I don't know. I forget what I was watching the other day, and they were trying to get, <sighs> they were trying to get somebody to say that. No, I did. I did not. Okay. I did not. All right. Okay. Chat. He did not eat the poop. Um. Uh. So it um, it seems really messed up that people would focus on the tape as a way to embarrass you, um, as it um, also includes the mother of your son. Um, to me, um, it, again, it seems like it crosses that family line. Um, uh, and I guess I wanted to know your, your thoughts on that. Uh, she's not my family. That's my thoughts on that. Okay. All right. Um, uh, okay. Um, and then I guess, uh, what do you think are your biggest regrets in your online career? Um, wow. That's another pretty good question. Uh, biggest regrets. Um, I wish I could have, um, I wish, you know, we mentioned stream.me earlier. I wish there would have been some way to keep that, um, on the rails. Uh, I do think that that was, uh, sort of a golden era, um, but, you know, my biggest regret, really what kind of brought that down is the same thing that brings down uh, all these shows if you let them hang around. And it's these psycho Kiwi Farms types uh, who always, um, you know, they're causing dissension and they're making up fake shit. And they're, you know, you talk about doxing. They talk about, they criticize me about doxing and morality. I mean, literally doing the most doxing, the most immoral shit uh, you could imagine. Attacking the most families uh, you could imagine. And if you let those people have free reign in your community, uh, which I did for a while, uh, and mm-hmm. even thought like that was the way to do it, right? Hands off mm-hmm. and, you know, whatever goes, goes. And it's not my deal. And we even, maybe we even need, you know, maybe that's even good. A little bit of, uh, you know, just wild west uh type of atmosphere and um that was not good um and you can't build a long-term audience off of that unless you're a josh moon you own kiwi farms maybe you can say medicare but you can't think of anybody else uh that eats off those people regularly uh you know what i mean you know what i'm saying right that, that stays propped up by them uh except for maybe the people they hate i mean it's good for me uh from the outside just them talking about me but uh having those people around playing to that audience um i think you know i, I look at the people who stabbed me in the back who i thought i could trust um, mm-hmm. and I didn't, or, or, you know, I did, uh, but the people I, you know, didn't give the trust to when I should have, um, I don't know. I just think I was on a wrong course for a long time. And I, I see some of my friends here on cozy.tv baked Alaska, for instance, you know, I feel like, uh, Medicare kind of set that up. I had no reason to go after baked and it was a, you know, it was a fun arc, I guess, quote unquote for my show, but it wasn't fun for him. And it was no reason for that to happen to him. Uh, right. We kind of like almost destroyed his life for no reason, really, uh, just because Medicare didn't like him. Uh, and I look back at that and, you know, I'll still go after somebody. Sure. Uh, but yeah. I feel like I have a much stronger code these days, uh, than I did back then because there was no reason to do that other than Medicare mm-hmm. didn't like him. Uh, and we could get known off of it, you know, people yeah. and we did. Uh, but you know, I don't know. I feel like I just didn't have the right mentality, uh, for mm-hmm. several years and it, it just caused me to, to, to trust the wrong people. So mm-hmm. I guess that's a long winded answer, but, uh, I couldn't really just pick, uh, any one thing, but that's, that's, that's what I would say to that. 
Um, so speaking of KF, there are a lot of allegations about swattings on many people involved in this area of the internet. Yeah. Um, do you believe that it, that they're connected to the Kiwis or others in the space? Um, I would assume that they are, uh, but you never really know. Like I've been around since Gamergate, uh, and people been been getting swatted since Gamergate. Um, I myself have gotten swatted like eight or nine times, including with with guns, without. Uh, you know, people have come. They had my gas line turned off once. Like there's been all kinds of. Even this year, there's footage on Twitter of me getting swatted with police with their guns coming to my house. Uh, I think we just had our daughter then, like two months before. She was at the store, thankfully. Uh, mm-hmm. But, you know, imagine that happening uh, to your to your family, right? Thankfully, they weren't there. It was scary enough with me there, uh, mm-hmm. right? Like, I didn't want them to... You, these cops, man, look, I'm not a respect the police type guy. You know, that's not me back the blue. That's not Ethan Ralph. Mm-hmm. It never has been. And these hothead cops will definitely slip up and shoot somebody or fuck around or take the wrong signal. It's happened countless times. It's going to keep happening. Um, so, I, you know... I don't really know. I would assume probably because, you know, that's the place they can see the reaction to it. Like, you would only do something like that if you could sit back, watch the reaction, kind of play in, play into the reaction too. Um, so I would assume, but, like, I really don't know. I don't support swatting uh, at all. I actually moved to Mexico. I don't live in the United States anymore. Uh, and one of the reasons I did that is because I was tired of getting fucking swatted. Uh, and it doesn't happen here. Uh, I was just about to ask you about that. Yeah, you had been posting about Mexico um, recently, and, and uh, I guess I was going to ask, yeah, like, um, why you had chosen Mexico of all places to go, especially being part of AF now. So Yeah, I heard that yeah. talking point of course. Um, but that doesn't, I, you know, I guess these people haven't watched my show. Um, I think the way the United States uh, has behaved towards its populace the last 40, 50 years is a disgrace. Uh, and the idea that you should uh, be loyal to your country's interests over your own personal interests, uh, unless you took a mm-hmm. direct oath <laughs> to do so, right? You're in the military or something like that, then you're a retard. Like, I don't even know. Like, no. No, mm-hmm. my interests are definitely much more important than sitting around the United States. Uh, I don't regret leaving for one second. Merida is in the Yucatan Peninsula is far superior than Richmond. It's far superior than almost any city in the United mm-hmm. States. Everything's cheaper. My rent's half price. Food's half price. Um, you know, I don't have the Spanish down, uh, but it doesn't really hold you back much. Uh, you know, there's a beautiful beach 20, 30 minutes away. Cancun, three mm-hmm. and a half hours away. Uh, so, you know, somebody said it best, uh, America first, Mexico second. That's what they said on Twitter. And, uh, <laughs> uh, I think yeah. I like that. Um, okay. Uh, and so, um, I do have some super chats. Um, sure. I imagine those will be interesting. <laughs> yes. Go ahead. Yeah. Um, and you don't have to answer them, sure. but, um, I did promise people I would at least read some. Um, but, um, I guess before we get into that, um, uh, I guess that kind of means that you're not really a nationalist, right? If you're, if uh, you're, in, you well, I, just come, come well, no, first I mean, I, first off, I didn't renounce going back ever to the United States, right? I'm still yeah. going back in January. It's not like I left uh, the USA forever uh, or anything like mm-hmm. that. Um, mm-hmm. I, I don't, I think I can do what I do for nationalism in Mexico. Uh, and you know, the important thing, my role is to do these shows, uh, and to put on this programming and whatever helps me do that better, easier, cheaper, and to also fight all the external battles that I have to fight. Uh, some of them I can't even talk about core, all this stuff. Um, you know, I think, and moving to Mm -hmm. married, makes that easier. Uh, yeah, I think it's a good call. Okay. Um, so earlier you were talking in the show about, um, uh, Jim not having a whole lot of time left. Yeah. Um, poor Jim. The first super chat that, um, I got actually from him was Ralph, when I get down there, <laughs> do you want me to tell your mother anything for you? Oh, Jim, um, see there, I was waiting, man, were you holding on to that one? See, I'm glad you did that. I'm really glad you did that because, you know, I read this about you all the time. Jim won't go after families. He's too good for that. He's too good to go after families. And that's just not in his, that's not in his character. That's not something Mr. Medicare would do. Mr. Medicare has, Mr. Medicare has a code of ethics and uh, Mr. Medicare would not go after a family. Do you know that? Uh, Yeah, you're a complete Mm -hmm. fucking liar. You're a fucking fraud and you always have been. Kind of like you were against Patreon before you were for it. You were against Super Chats before you were for it. You were against merchandise before you were for it for it just uh stay there in your little bubble you don't have much time left and i will definitely pop a cork and celebrate when your bitch ass dies 
Uh, okay, next uh, super chat says, um, why did you take a break from streaming on December 16th? Oh, by the way, they're and saying that's not the real gym. Don't spoil my, you know what? Don't spoil my, tell me that is the real gym. I, I, I want to know. Now Now I have to know, Sardis. You have to, you have to oh, let me know. know. That was is. everything. Uh, no. Someone's going to have to confirm it for me. I'm, you have I'm to so... confirm. No, 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 no. You have to confirm. That, conf that, that was my thesis. No, it was confirmed mere days before his death. You have to. Oh, man. All right, we'll see. Uh, okay. We'll see if we can get yeah, a confirm on that. We'll see. Um, so uh, somebody says, why did you take a break from streaming on December 16th when, um, I guess, Tug passed away on November 26th? Yeah, they have a lot of crazy theories about my dog's death, which are just ridiculous. Right. Uh, and I can thank uh, her father for that. Uh, I'm not addressing any of that. Uh, I love my okay. dog, and only an insane person would even countenance the bullshit they're saying. So yeah. they can just okay. blow their brains out. Uh, Stardust, can you ask him about doxing his baby mama's sister and trying to get her fired? Yeah, you could, but I'm not going to go into all that stuff because I've done like eight hours of programming on it last week. But it's up on rockfin.com slash the Ralph Retort if you guys want to watch it. And it's all there yeah. in all of its glory or in glory, whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. But uh, it's mm -hmm. definitely there. Okay. Next one is, uh, does Pansu use Mexican tap water when she feeds Rosie baby formula? What kind of question is that? First off, Rosie doesn't use baby formula and never has uh, because she only used breast milk. But regardless, yeah. that's another theory. You talk about weird shit. They created this other alternate reality for I don't even know what reason <laughs> that she that she uses formula, which she doesn't. Uh, and no, mm -hmm. you don't uh, you don't drink the the Mexican tap water. That's not something. you do. Okay. Uh, Harry has agreed to give Sandra to pot awful. Is there anything you can do to stop it? Um, yeah. Well, he doesn't have. Her ashes, so that would be what I would do to stop it. So. Oh, okay. All right. They have um, this thing where they think he has her ashes because I joked on air about him pissing on her ashes. And uh, okay. so, but he doesn't actually have them. They're in Richmond, so I already know where they are. So, I, I don't know. I wonder what they'll cook up. Uh, yeah, I am kind of yeah. interested. Um, the next one I'm not cook up so to speak. Maybe that's not the right word. Maybe that's not the right word to use in this situation because you're gonna have to burn something to get that amount of ashes. I don't know what they'll use, but uh, don't commit any yeah. felonies would be my advice. Okay. Um, uh, third third question of that series I'm not gonna read because it um, I just don't think that it would be right for me to read it. Um, somebody says and uh, happy Andrew Tate getting arrested day to those who celebrate. Uh, Happy Andrew Tate getting arrested today. By the way, that's definitely Medicare. I can tell that's him. He's such a... I just love that he did that. I love that he did that literally on his deathbed. Just completely... Please, I want everybody to take note here. He's not above anything. This guy's been a lying piece of shit the entire time. He did He's, what? Well, when he got he took him arrested? No, no, no. I'm just ranting. No, no, no. Andrew Tate? No, oh. no, no. I was talking about Medicare. No, I'm saying take note. That He sent in another super chat. I just saw him in chat. Yeah. I'm just saying oh, take okay. note because I've been saying this shit about him for years. Just take note that the guy is full of shit. Okay. Um, uh, and we already answered this question, but I'll read it just because it says, why did Ralph flee the country? Was it to avoid faith in his son? Um, I don't I think the answer you already gave the answer to. Um, okay. Uh, the next super chat was Ralph put Ranbot's kids pictures on his show multiple times. I don't think I've done that. I have put his wife's picture up, um, but I don't renounce doing anything to Ranbot. So if that's what, okay. again, the Kiwi farms crowd complaining about morals and ethics, you know, can just go slit their wrists. Like I literally don't give a fuck. I don't renounce anything. I don't renounce anything. I don't renounce anything. I don't apologize for anything. I am completely 100% unapologetic about everything. I just want to be clear. Okay. All right. Um, so I just to, again, I disavow the following super chat. Uh, did Ralph really trade Tug's corpse to a Mexican doggy butcher for Xanax? Sad. Also, does he still keep Nora's sax toy inside his nightstand? Yikes. Chris Hansen and Kevin Nash coming for you, boy. Uh, next super chat. Does Stardust remind Ralph of Nora? Is that why he called her cute in his last stream? Uh, do you remind me of Nora? Well, I mean, you're both. I think you said you're Pakistani. I don't remember if you're Pakistani or I'm Indian. I'm from that general area. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's kind of, yeah, if you know, if you know a little bit about Yeah, it's kind of all relative, like, once it's over yeah. in that area, really. 
Um, yeah. No, nah, I just did that to talk shit on stream. Yeah. Uh, and besides you both being kind of the same shade a little bit, um, there's really, you know, I'm female. Yeah. <laughs> I guess yeah. like same age group. I mean, there are some similarities yeah. there. Uh, yeah. But no, nah, I just thought it'd be a funny way uh, to talk shit about you and to also just, she doesn't like me doing that, bringing up her picture. So I knew yeah. it would piss her off mm -hmm. as well. So yeah. kind of uh, two I, birds with one song. By the way. game, honestly. Like it's content. I'm not really offended by it. Um, and, uh, and, you know, uh, obviously when I'm, you know, it's just part of the thing. So I'm well, not I'll really say this. Anything, First yeah. off, I wanted to come on your show, <laughs> actually, because yeah. I was watching the Alex Stein thing. Of course, I know the psychos are going to come out no matter what. Yeah. Uh, but I was watching the Stein thing and he had done a lot of these shows. And, you know, a lot of these people I have heat with. Of course, I said that about you. And I'm, you know, we talk the next day. I don't, you know, it's not anything. Mm -hmm. I don't have anything at Stardust, of course. Uh, I was just miffed that you guys were, it seemed a little, when I know you, right? I know they're not going to have me on the yeah. Simpcast. They're not going to have me on these other circuit shows that he went on. Mm -hmm. But it's like, oh, here he is with Stardust? Like, and she's saying yeah. she doesn't know about this or that? Like, but you did message me the next day and you've had me on and, I, you know, I don't feel uh, mistreated or anything like that. Uh, and the Super Chats are psychotic, but, uh, you know, it's kind of hard to uh, complain about something like that when you're the host of the Kill Street. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I sat through. Uh, so yeah, let me say, yeah. I've sat through my fair share of these psychotic uh, yeah, super chats. Like half the chat saying, "Oh, what uh, color are your nipples, Stardust?" So I, I think I think we can handle. Uh, yes, some crazy super chats you're here, right. So. You're right. Uh, you're right. So, um, so the next uh, super chat is uh, Groypers equals felonious convicts and offenders. Try to Chris, try to equal Christian and wholesome. Actually, appear equals Lil. You know what? Can this broke they, can this broke motherfucker just spend some more money so he can afford some more letters there? Because <laughs> yeah, this true. is kind of pathetic, dude. You you look very poor. That's what you look you like. You can't take a single critique and then try to uh, silence people. Very bad and damning look. Uh, it's strange to me how Alex Stein rose through the ranks of the right wing media, but was unknown prior to 2021. What do you think about that? Um, I think that, um, yeah, he's definitely had some help. It doesn't ha hurt to have some uh, connections, so to speak. Uh, and he already had a history in Hollywood and with cheaters and with several other shows and reality appearances. Um, so that definitely helped. I will say this, um, just being fair about it. Alex Stein works really hard. Uh, and mm -hmm. you know, I don't like the guy. I think he's a complete scumbag and you know, I have my reasons obviously for thinking that, right. Uh, Especially when I gave him every chance to back out, you know, that does mm. that does rub me the wrong way for sure. And he immediately went on the personal attack. Okay, well, I'm, I'm already there, buddy. Like, you, you don't have to tell me twice. Uh, but I'll be fair and just be honest. The guy works really hard, and he's everywhere. And he's done a lot of shows. He's done almost every shit request asked of him. Now he's starting to pull back on that, you know. That's when he's going to the blaze. He's starting to tighten up, maybe pick and choose a little bit more. But that's how he got known, uh, was just blanketing everything, going everywhere. Uh, and he He's, he's a good, like, um, you know, street guy. Now, it turns out some of that stuff is not what we thought in terms of planted people and stuff like that, but he's still good at that stuff, uh, and he's good at getting, getting attention. And, um, you know, I guess it surprised me a little bit maybe, uh, but not all that much. After you saw the early trajectory, um, it did look like he was he was headed to, to blow up status mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. um, okay, next one. I disavow this uh, super chat, but I told people I would read them. Um, so last night I asked a bum on Beale Street about the Memphis Micro. He hadn't heard of you, Ralph. Wow. And W Memphis explains perfectly why you are the way you are. Oh, I think that means West Memphis. That does explains. mean West Memphis. Okay. West All right. Memphis, Arkansas. Um, next one is Ralph went after Nick Fuentes' sister and called her a coal burner. What does that mean? I don't know. What does that mean? Uh, I don't know. Uh, I think that that's probably something I, I need to look up. Um, <laughs> I'll say this. Um, I'll say this. Um, they yeah. have tried to start a lot of stuff between Nick and I because we had a beef like four years ago, and uh, which we hashed out in like the course of a week, um, which was really silly. Uh, I think we both said that that was – dumb uh and for me i mean it was really smart honestly to get on the right side of nick fuentes uh and we've been i would say on the level and gotten to be friends since then uh you know he's never you know disrespected me as far as like always being there if i asked him to come on the show or at least have an open ear about an idea i had to to use him on the show he was on the heel stream as i mentioned he's done a lot of big debates on my show 
you know, I ended up coming on Cozy.TV, which caused a lot of problems mm-hmm. in my own camp. You know, my own people started, Rambot and Dingo and these idiots, you know, started attacking me over that. Uh, but the reason I did that was because Nick had always been cool to me. He's got this cool website. I mean, mm-hmm. why shouldn't I use it? I don't have it. You know, he's a good guy. He's always been good to me just because, you know, Mike Enoch doesn't like him. I don't give a fuck. Uh, you know, and that's kind of how, you know, I am with everybody. If I'm cool with them, I'm cool with them. I don't care um, mm-hmm. about you know, whether Medica or likes them or so-and-so likes them, like, fuck that. Uh, you know, my guys are my guys. Uh, and so I'm very glad that that was a, a short-lived thing, our little spat, back in the halcyon days uh, of blood sports in 2018 because uh, Nick's a great guy, great friend, and he's doing some great things with Ye. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, next one is from uh, – Mr. Medicare says, Ralph, afraid to address the fact he doxxed and tried to get a woman fired, just like he tried to do to a janitor at an aquarium. Sad, I ain't scared, runs to You know Mexico. what? You know what Jim's afraid to address? The Grim Reaper. But he doesn't have to wait much longer. He doesn't have to have that impending feeling of doom because it's coming very soon. Jim, you better stop spending Jade's retirement money because, you know, that big fat slop hound, what is she going to do? Like what? Keep cleaning teeth? You better save her a little something, Jim. It's going to run out. What's she going to sell? Were you going to leave some mementos to sell off on eBay after? Is that what's going to happen? Man, God, I sure hope, man, I sure hope somebody doesn't. Well, don't worry. You won't be around. You won't be around to think about it, Jim. Next one is Ralph abandoned Sandra in life and death. Sad. Nora, I like the second eyebrow. Very fetching. Second eyebrow. I don't understand. Oh, there was a picture of, of my ex-wife where they just, like, photoshopped a unibrow on. Oh, She didn't have a okay. unibrow. Um, and I would yeah. not fuck with unibrow. I mean, she would. I mean, if you, didn't, if you don't ever pluck there, maybe she would have. But, uh, no, they, they <laughs> yeah. like, I don't know. Yeah. Uh, but, no, she was meticulous, actually, uh, yeah. with her eyebrows. So, no. Yeah. Um, okay. Ralph, can you confirm if you did or did not stomp on someone's head at your bowling event? Uh, I have never done anything of the kind. Uh, I've never violated any orders or suspended sentence. And so, yeah, okay. there's your confirmation. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Ralph, how does it feel to have better... Oh, man. Okay. I disavow this one. Ralph, how does it feel to have bigger tits than the host? When I don't you know. Do you? Very, I can't really see him over there. Like, I mean, I did get a reduction. So did you? Uh, yeah. Wait. Yeah, I did like no. a couple of years ago. Yeah. Wow. Um, <laughs> when you rage out, do they jiggle individually or as a quad unit? I, I disavow. Um, so uh, um, next one is from Mr. Medicare. Um, can the host please remind the guests that I stayed in the United States because I'm not ashamed of the country my daddy gave me. Well, make it easy to, easier to bury your, your nasty ass because you'll already be there in your mm-hmm. hometown. That, you know, it's kind of a big deal to get you yeah, back. Yeah. So, no big deal. I mean, you haven't even left your house, much left, less leaving the country. Dude. If you would just leave your subdivision, I think it would be time to alert the local news media, uh, much less leaving the country. I don't think that that's, you know, that's in danger of ever happening. It's definitely not in danger of happening now. Maybe some experimental treatment. I don't know, but... Uh, TikTok, TikTok, yeah. Augustine. Yeah, yeah. Um, what's the beef between you and, and Medicare? When did that all start? Um, I got attacked in Portugal uh, earlier this year, and my orbital socket was um, crushed, oh I guess you God. could say. Yeah, I was kicked in the face, uh, and my orbital socket was crushed, and my other eye was, like, swollen shut. And um, I put out the picture myself because I, was, I looked at myself, and I saw it in the phone, and I was like, damn, my, fuck. I'm, my face is fucked. And nobody, there wasn't like a paparazzi photo or somebody hacked my phone to put that out. I put that out on my own. And I, I put it out just because I was, it was more of like I lived uh, type thing. And he immediately did a stream about it and like tried to make it a mockery uh, and tried to attack me. He'd already been angling to attack me for months uh, as well. He'd been going, doing the circuit, uh, talking shit, basically. Not full, not fully. He wanted me to come out uh, and attack him, which I don't have any problems doing because I already wanted to anyway. So once he did that, because he's just, he always acts like he's an above it, you know, type guy when he's just as in the muck as anybody, but he tries to be King shit at King mountain. Uh, and as you seen with his super chats tonight, he's not. Um, so yeah, I already, I did already have a little bit of a, just, you know what? Fuck you. And so when he did that, uh, I wrote an article. I forget what the word, first one was called. I think it was the smoke. I don't remember. Um, there were two articles though. 
and uh, I I went pretty hard, uh, I guess you could say, uh, toward him and his his wife, who's former colleague of mine. Uh, so I don't want to, for people who are watching. Uh, when I talk about his wife, we used to all be compatriots uh, together in a little thing called Gamergate back in uh, ancient history. Also, I saw Jim. He used to make fun of people who talked about Gamergate, but I saw he, he did that podcast a few months ago doing da- Gamergate history. So I guess you know that's cool now too. It's cool to do it now. Now that. Uh, no, he said it's okay. So uh, that's me mocking you, f- you losers. By the way, I don't want anybody to. You have to say it right after before the autists actually believe it. Um, but I, I knew, Portugal, I knew Jade. I knew Jade. Like, so I can say whatever the fuck yeah. I want. Say what? Yeah. Why did you go to Portugal? Um, because I was going there to mock Andy Worski. And uh, also because Portugal is fun and based. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I still love my time in Lisbon. I get that on Twitter, too, where it's like, oh, what? You're going back to Portugal? And it's like, yeah, actually, I am going back to Portugal. I went back again. Something else happened, but I'm going back again. Are you crazy? I fucking love Lisbon. And I love Portugal. I went out to uh, see uh, the, the cathedral there and a bunch of other stuff. Uh, last time on a tour, like, the whole country's nice, uh, actually. But I spent more, most time in Lisbon, and I love that city. I highly um, recommend it. Uh, so, Mr. Medicare just sent a super chat. He said, um, uh, I was going there to mock Andy Worski. So, how did that work out for you? It worked out. It ended up being the best thing that happened to me in my entire career, actually. Because it freed me from that. F- I was about to use it. I don't think I can use that word on YouTube. Uh, I won't say. I refuse to use f uh, It. Re- <laughs> I just, no. Although, I guess I did just say it. Um Oh, it kind of it kind of got me out of his, uh, you know, where it's like you're almost. Uh, some people feel like you have to pay deference to this guy, or you owe this guy something, and he can just say whatever he wants about anybody, and he never has to fucking answer to anybody. He never has to take any criticism. He never has to take any of the personal shit that he deals out to anybody else. He never has to play on the level. And uh, I think I showed everybody that. Oh yes, he does. Oh yes, he does. And oh. No, he's not going to end the Ralph's career. Uh, the only thing Jim did this year was make me a lot more money. A lot more money. He made my show more exciting by stabbing me in the back, giving me a storyline all year. Uh, so I thank him for that. I thank him for using his last last year here on Earth to breathe new life into my online career and to actually jumpstart that shit. Because I said it uh, at the start, and he's... I don't know if he ever figured it out, but uh, making me his number one villain was one of the best things that could have ever happened to me. And I love that that happened. Now, you know, it is what it is, right? I mean, yeah, I used to come on the show and all that stuff, but uh, I think that that was a great thing for me. It was a great thing for the the show and just the, the character arc, so to speak, uh, that all that happened. And uh, I couldn't be I couldn't be happier that it did, actually. What is this whole thing about Moloch or Moloch? That's some stuff, you know, with the, with the Odyssey uh, CEO, who I'm not even going to go in on. Um, you know, I had a little detente there. I won't go into that either, but uh, I don't want to. I don't want to bring all that stuff up. And uh, but it's public record. Uh, that'll that'll be enough to say there. You can go. You can go watch the show. I'm trying to be diplomatic. Uh, yeah. People say I can't be, but uh, yeah, I can every once in a while. But yeah, that was a little feud that I had there uh, with with Odyssey. Hmm. Oh, um, okay, yeah, I was so confused because somebody came into my chat the other day and they said, "Oh, Starta, stop uh, sacrificing children to Moloch in the backyard." And I'm like, "What is that?" Like, and then so I'm, I was like, "What?" Um, but anyways. Um, yeah, so somebody sent a super chat saying, Demonologist Six and Hammer 666 thinks it's drug related, nothing to do with the occult. Uh, can you shed some light on this mystery? Um, and I know you already have talked about that. Um, uh, Circus uh, says, What is the age of consent in Portugal? Uh, I don't know. That was where Worski was going to move for the longest. And he used to talk about in DMs, according to his ex associates, used to joke about stuff like that. So I don't know. You probably want to ask uh, Andy Worski, who aborted his child, uh, what the age of consent is there in Portugal. I didn't I didn't partake in any of those type of activities in Portugal. So I'm not sure. Uh, But uh yeah, I don't know. Ask Worski about it because I've heard him laugh about it. I do think it's younger than the United States. I don't remember the exact number, but I think it's I think it's younger. Hmm. Okay. Um. All right. Well, I think that's all of the super chats. Um. 
Uh, did you hear about uh, Keemstar today admitting that the thing with Salvo and, and Flam was like made up or something? So I don't know. I didn't actually because I literally just got on my computer. I did put out a few tweets about Andrew Tate and a few other things, mm. um, but I don't know. I was trying to catch up with it. I don't even know if the Salvo stuff is real. Like I was seeing some of those leaks. He's supposed to be coming mm. to Ralph Mania. He just confirmed like the day before all this happened. Um, uh, so I don't know. Are those leaks? Are those? Is that even confirmed real? Like it reads almost like a. No, I just got through saying nobody believes anything, but like I, it, it is like it does it seems read like, like it's real. Um, really? I, uh, like that's what it seems like to me. Um, we watched something on it last night, um, but I know that Keemstar was covering it um, uh, today, uh, so I have to check up on that. But I know that um, I know that they got Keemstar to admit that Salvo's accusations of Flamenco were uh, not true. So. Uh, I don't know, yeah. but I also uh, yeah. consider Flamenco the absolute scum of the earth and wouldn't care at all. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, fuck him, fuck his career, and run him into the dirt. That would be my opinion mm -hmm. of Flamenco, especially uh, knowing what I know. And, uh, well, we'll get to that. Don't worry. Start us. 2023. Yeah. 2023. Well, it's the year of the gut. That's all I got to say. And uh, I've got some plans in store already for early 2023 uh, that are going to involve our, our good little friend, Flamenco. So just uh, just stay tuned. Just stay tuned is all I'll say on that on that Sorry, front. And I missed you, one. You stay tuned too, uh, Flamenco. Yeah, I, I missed a, a couple of super chats here. Um, Mr. Medicare is that one saying, I'm nothing without Jim. I can't believe you admitted it, LOL. Uh, did you I saw that. I saw that. Well, look, I've always been good at making money off you, Medicare. I don't. I mean, I'm next to you. I'm the next best at it. I think that that's been proven. So I don't. <laughs> I don't. That's that doesn't do anything but put a feather in my cap, son. So I thank you for that. Um. Okay. Uh. And then the next super chat after that is: If children are off limits, then why did he just refer to Andy Worski as a Bortski? Well, his kid's dead. Okay. Uh, there also, you have he killed a child. Also, he killed a child, dude. Are you serious? Is that really your logic? Okay. Well, you know what? Why don't you go kill yourself? Honestly, I mean, that's that's really your that's really your logic. Oh my God, he's bringing he's bringing children into it. He killed his child, dude. Are you fucking serious? He killed his child, and so your complaint is that I bring that up. Okay. All right. Yeah, I got it. Got it. Got it, Captain Morals. Yeah, appreciate you checking in. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like it's just it's just ridiculous, and you know. It's a nasty, it's a nasty sector, I guess. Uh, by the way, I love yeah. that everybody adopted that after I started saying it, and now people just say it unironically. Yeah. So thank you for proving my influence once again. But uh, go ahead, Stardo. Sorry, I don't want to. Yeah. Sorry, no, no problem. Uh, what is the goal in Merida? Are you going to live there casually, learn the language, integrate, buy real estate? I heard Merida is gorgeous. Merida is gorgeous. It is one of the top five safest cities in the North American continent. Um, the weather is lovely. Like I said, Progresso Beach front, uh, not too far away. Cancun, not too far away. But the Yucatan Peninsula itself, uh, uh, Chichen Itza, I think is how you say that. I don't know. I have to double check. That's not my forte of historical studies. Uh, but there's some mine ruins around here too as well. Uh, just a lot of cool stuff. It's by far the safest city in Mexico, the safest state in Mexico. Um, so yeah, I plan to live here uh, for a good number of years actually. Yeah. Uh, I don't see a reason not to. Uh, I see zero reason not to when you can live here for half price and I can do every single thing I want to do. I can get pretty much every comfort of America and in, a, in most ways it's better here. I'm just being honest. Uh, delivery is cheaper. Every aspect of life is cheaper. Uh, I can get a cup of coffee delivered, to, Starbucks coffee delivered to my door for like $7. Uh, and that would be like, I don't even know, like $18 or something like that uh, in the U.S. Uh, so, and that's a latte, you know, that's like a big uh, drink, right? Uh, that's not just a small cup of coffee. Uh, and it's just little stuff. Uh, it's just little stuff like that all around. It's more of a, it's more of a community feel actually in Mexico. It's actually more of a, to be quite honest, a family oriented society. I don't think people really realize um, you know, how different it is down here. Uh, not in a negative way either. Um, it really is more centered around the family. They do have, um, a lot of like 
kids areas and stuff when you go out to restaurants and uh, people more accustomed to, to, to having their kids with them. And it's just more of a, more of a family atmosphere. It's like a thousand million times safer than Richmond, Virginia. Uh, it's a thousand million times safer than Memphis, Tennessee. And most likely there's about a 95% chance that whoever can hear my voice, it's a, it's at least a thousand times safer than where you live. Uh, and definitely if you live in a big city, it's pretty likely. Uh, so, and again, there are some p- cities that are, it's safe, like Toronto is right up there with it as well in the rankings. But, you know, it's like triple, quadruple the price, right? So um, Merida is on the way up. Uh, you know, I don't think in 10, 15 years you're going to actually be able to find too many deals uh, around here. Uh, so I would say that uh, if you're planning to move here and stay or, like, start a little something here and maybe go back later, uh, now would be a good time to get in because some people have already gotten in. Uh, I was talking to a local recently and they were talking about how a lot of the Canadians even had to leave uh, because of COVID. So that, you know, that might be a good time for Americans to swoop in and <laughs> take their spot uh, in some of these places. Uh, so they, they're the Canadian expat community is a little depleted uh, because of all their COVID regulations. But yeah, I love Merida. There's no reason to leave here whatsoever. Uh, yeah. Advertisement for Mexico. Yeah. 100%. It's nice here. I don't give a fuck. Like these people are so provincial and just like backwater and they're thanking thank thanking <laughs> quite frankly uh it's because i was gonna say frankly after that and i'd already moved ahead but uh you know i don't what like who even these are people who don't even leave their city much less think about leaving their country uh and that can't be me sorry yeah, okay um uh chat we're gonna be closing it up soon so any last ones you've got like five minutes to get them in because we're cutting it off all right uh um okay uh somebody who says they want you to show your tits before you go i'm not going to force you to do that um of course just like not. you would never force me if you to show your that. tits i'll show mine how about that <laughs> <laughs> uh, 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 but ralph you went after ricada's children too i think you already addressed that um see uh, i said that i qualified that because i think we made a couple yeah. jokes about uh you yeah. know the parentage there perhaps or whatever yeah. but i didn't like single out his kids or whatever. Uh, I qualified for that earlier because I already expected some citations like that. Yeah. Okay. Um, All right. Uh, um, Let's see. Uh, Why did Ralph get mad at Chrissy May for asking these uncomfortable questions, but not Stardust? Uh, Well, first off, you know, that's a fair question, actually. Um, I think that that is a fair question. Uh, I just didn't like the way she asked him, really. I mean, it would be the simplest way to put it. Uh, I didn't really like the, the vibe of that show. Um, yeah. Of course, I haven't really went back and watched the whole appearance. I was definitely on one that night, not in terms of, like, inebriation, but in just in terms of fired up, ready to go. To use, <laughs> to use a thing Obama used to say, it was one of those. Like, yeah, I was fired up, ready to go, kind of already. Um, and, yeah, definitely just... Just didn't feel, just didn't feel it, um, and was kind of spoiling for a fight uh, a little bit already, mm-hmm. um, yeah. and that's another thing where I don't think that that hurt me any. Nobody in my audience gives a fuck about Chrissy Mayer. Let's just be real, uh, and so that's not why I did it. Um, mm-hmm. But it's just one of those things where I don't feel like I was being treated with respect, and so I didn't give any respect back. And me and you, you know, she'd been on the show a few times too. Uh, but I've, you know, I've actually talked to Stardust. Stardust is really good at what she does just in this uh, sector, as I said earlier. I appreciate that. Uh, appreciate she has a lot of different people on. She goes on debates uh, and she can, she can take it. Uh, and most people can't. Uh, and even when I was talking shit the other night, because uh, I didn't know if you're going to have me on, I was like, well, fuck, I guess I'll just talk shit, whatever. And I tried to keep it, you know, somewhat silly. But, uh, yeah. you know, it was a little bit of, wow, you know, that was like, oh, Stardust. Like, man, fuck, I, I hope that's not the case because I actually have been a, you know this too, uh, yeah. have been a fan of yours and a fan of your career. Uh, so I do appreciate you having me on. I do think that, um, that Stardust takes it seriously as far as being fair uh, to her interviewees and stuff like that. Uh, I don't feel like, you're trying to set me up or, or something like that. Whereas it just had a different feel that night yeah. and people can say I'm wrong. That's fine. Uh, that's just how it felt to me. Yeah. I appreciate that. Um, uh, I know people get really upset with me for coming off as overly friendly sometimes with uh, people I interview, but I think that's just kind of the best way to get people comfortable. And, you know, you want people to be open and honest and all of those things and have like a genuine connection with people when you're talking with them. 
That's right. Um, you know what you, yeah. she, you, she knows what she's doing when it comes to interviewing. She's, she's thought out uh, how she wants it to go. And you're also open to uh, going different ways with it. You yeah. don't ever really cut me off or anything like that. You, you've seen the kill stream. You know, I'm kind of allergic yeah. usually to doing that. Uh, and there's a reason for that. Cause you don't know what somebody's going to say. If you just keep yeah. letting them talk, there's no telling what they'll say, but if you stop yeah. them from talking, they're definitely not going to say anything else. Uh, so that's kind of my operating philosophy. Uh, and I always like that you, pretty much share it seemingly so mm -hmm. um uh so okay just a few more of these i'm, I'm not reading any more uh super chats after the ones that i read uh, <laughs> uh so after this point to right now right now no no super chats submitted after this moment right now are now how many read, super okay? chats did you get more super chats tonight or with alex stein oh tonight for sure yeah thank you <laughs> uh so um merry late uh, christmas but uh, yeah i just wanted yeah. that for the record all right thank you Okay. Um, so, uh, um, was it hard getting a Mexico visa when you're a convicted sex offender? Is it, is that even true? Uh, no, it's not, but, uh, they okay. like to use that line. Uh, okay. and I'm not going into any, uh, stuff like that, obviously, but, okay. uh, All right. what happened to your Wikipedia page? Uh, the little midget who created it got it deleted for, Damn. I don't know. I think he was just tired of getting like Kiwi farmed uh, all the time and like bugged about it all the time. I think he thought he was doing me a favor, but then I said, fuck that guy. Cause, uh, I don't like him really anyway, but, <laughs> um, but, uh, it wasn't really cause of that. Uh, I've gotten along with him before. It was really because he was kind of talking shit when he got it deleted. Like, and then I was like, okay, well, yeah, that's fine. You know, I'm just way more relevant than you are. You know, sorry about that. Mm. And, like, we kind of got in the back and forth. Uh, mm. I mean, it goes without saying that I should have one, but it doesn't even matter. Mm. I'm, pr I'm plenty well I'm pl plenty well known enough. I don't I don't need any, any more of that. I'm sure they'll go back to it someday. But, you know, I got mentions. I mentioned the front page of the Wall Street Journal, Politico, New York Times. I mean, it is kind of ridiculous. And it kind of is a travesty that they took it away, I do have to admit. Uh, hey, Ralph, any word on why you made your mom hitchhike that day out to dialysis treatment? I never did that, so. Um, did you see the Regenge tape he uploaded? Two and a half inches, very sad. I did not see it. I do not go out seeking people's tapes, all right? How much um, would they pay me to measure it on air? Let's get the, let's get the counter offer. You know, I've heard ooh. a lot of, I've heard a lot of fake news. Maybe, yeah, maybe we should, uh, maybe we should just finally get it settled once and for all. Maybe they can send their uh, sister over to help with the uh, fluffing too. I don't know, but uh, we'll see. I'm open. I'm open to any suggestions for sure. Um. Okay. All right. Uh, Ralph, did you move to Southern Mexico to be king of the manlets? Yes, that was the long term plan. Uh, hopefully, okay. to have a manlet kingdom. Awesome. Uh, why did Ralph show Rambot's kids on stream? I think we already addressed that as well earlier yeah. in the stream. So. Oh, that's uh, Ryan. That's it. Ryan bot, oh. by the way. Don't. Uh, oh, Ryan bot. Oh, my, yeah. my, my bad. Yeah. Um, yeah, you got it. Yeah. Uh, okay. I think that's it. Um, what a stream it has been. Thank you for, um, for answering my questions. You're welcome. Um, and thank you for sitting with me through all of the super chats. I appreciate it. Thank so. you so much. And I appreciate yeah. you having me on. Uh, let yeah. me tell my side. It, does, it ain't really going to matter, yeah. <laughs> to be Feel honest. Feel to talk trash on me anytime also. I really don't care. Um, no, you know uh, what? I saw them so. hitting you with the videos and like... I guess wanting you to get upset. I was just, I even said that the next day. Hopefully you didn't take any of that yeah, uh, seriously. Yeah. I did maybe, maybe I shouldn't have went that way with no, it. No, it's but, fine. Uh, I, really, I was just joking it's, I really am not offended. You can go as I'm just as joking want, around. So. Hope you know that yeah, already. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, everybody likes a good fight, right? That's right. So, that's yeah, right. Yeah. And I wasn't sure you were going to have me on the show actually at that time yeah. either. So I was yeah. like, well, maybe yeah. she'll have me on. Maybe she won't. Uh, so yeah. that was kind of my, my thought process. But I, I appreciate you uh, having me on, being very honorable about the whole thing. Uh, and I hope you had a good show and uh, good. the coffers were replenished. Uh, yeah. And uh, I hope to talk to you again yeah. soon. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Yeah. Have a good one. Thank you, you so much for joining me. Uh-huh. Bye-bye. See ya. Wow. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.